The stock is now down almost 11 percent just this week. The chart master thinks it's prime for a breakdown. Uh, Carter, what are you looking at? Well, it's a big old mess, but let's look at the, this is kind of fun here. Watch, it looks busy, but we can walk through it quickly. So if you look at the past 20 years, um, Apple has outperformed the market in 15 and underperformed in five. But forget that. It's all about your Kager, your compounded annual growth rate. S&P 7.6, Apple 37.4. So what that means is 100 grand in the S&P, you got 432 grand. 100 grand in Apple, you got 57 million. Now, is that meaningful? No. But what is meaningful is Apple's relative performance, which has been oh so good, is really starting to uh, break down. Let's look at some charts. So the first chart is basically a ratio chart. It's just Apple divided by the S&P. So it's not about the y-axis. It's about the direction of the line. If the blue line is rising, Apple is outperforming the S&P. If it's declining, it's underperforming. And what we know is that we have come down to this trend line to the penny, and today we just broke below it. Now let's look at a longer term chart, and it's the same circumstance. Same circumstance. Let's look. This is 02. Remember, it looks like the same, but now that was only five. This is 20 years of outperformance, and the whole thing looks like it's going to basically give way here. Uh, all things that are great come to an end, and it doesn't have to be the end of Apple, but just remember, Cisco is worth more comp than anyone in the world. Where is Cisco? So was AT&T, so was U.S. Steel, so was General Motors, so was Exxon. You, you can be on top a long time, but you can't stay on top. What is the next level when, it, when we see this break, I mean, that you're watching? Right, so, um, again, not he shown here. This is a relative chart, but Apple's done 4.5% today. I think it's got another uh, at least 15 to 20 percent to go. 15 or 20 percent. OK. Um, Guy Dami, what do you think? Down 15 or 20 percent. I'll, I'll yeah. get you to 125. I can get in that ballpark. Uh -huh. Obviously, 20 percent is lower than that. But we talked about it in earnings quickly. The stock traded down to this level post earnings. It rallied when Amazon had a miserable quarter. It was a flight to quality. This stock traded 158 two and a half, three days ago. I'm with Carter on this one. It's still an expensive stock in this environment. Yeah. If you think the market's going lower, the market doesn't bottom until Apple bottoms. It doesn't, it doesn't, market doesn't hit a bottom when you sell your Zoom. It's when everyone on this trading desk or all the holders, and I don't mean all, but the incremental holder sells their Apple. Apple is supposed to be a quasi safe bet in the marketplace. When you, people sell their Apple, that's when you could say the mar market is bottom. Why is Apple trading at an 80% uh, you know, tile of, of its you know, last one-year valuation average? It shouldn't be trading near the top of that. If you look at Apple in February of 2020, it was an $80 stock that had just rallied 60% from its lows of 2019. In other words, this stock had major momentum going into COVID, and since COVID, it's traded from 80 up to where it is. The valuation's too high, and it's too big of a weight in the markets. That's another conversation for another day, but this is what we're seeing going on with mega cap tech, and, and they, it just shouldn't be this big of a structural weighting, not only in, in our market, but in the global economy. Well, this is one component, Carter, of your call of S&P 500 to 3,100 or so, right? I mean, what are some of the other generals that we need to see go substantially lower well, from here? Well, a lot in order of them, for... it's underway. We know Microsoft uh, is right. breaking down Google. But what we've had that's kept the market from really taking its desk down leg is we've got this money flow into things like McDonald's, into Caterpillar. But um, those things are already exploited. So here and now, you have a circumstance where money has come out of the big, heavy tech names. It's gone into some other sort of safety, quasi-safety names. But the net of it is, now that it's gone into those, those are already extended, and the apples are dead. So there's, there's nothing left to play.